Uh, welcome to the first attempt at Labs Online. We'll see how this goes today. Um, this one, this lab today, is going to be on uh, power over Ethernet lighting systems. Um, this is a new market that's out there. Uh, it's not really explored a whole lot yet. I mean, it's, the people are getting into it, but not that many people. This is a niche to start a new business right now. Um, this kit was provided to us by um, Genesis Lighting, a division of uh, Innovative Lighting out of Des Moines, Iowa. So they're kind of a, one of the leading edge people in doing in this business. The demo kit consisted of two six inch can lights, a control unit, a wall switch, and a uh, <clears throat> motion sensor as well as the software. The things that I had to supply to make this all work, a router, router used to basically send out IP addresses to this system so that it knows what devices are. Uh, if I wanted to bring this onto an existing network, it's just no different. It's just attaching it to that network or providing the appropriate addresses to bridge it into the ERG network. <clears throat> I had to pick up a uh, Type 2 uh, PoE switch. Uh, type 2 meaning it's different than a Type 1. It really depends on the wattage. Type 1 is a 15 watt output. Type 2 is a 30 watt output. Type 3 goes up to 60, 60, excuse me, 60 watts, and Type 4 is going to go to 100 watts. Type 3 and Type 4, Type 3 is just coming out, Type 4 is, is yet just new spec and it hasn't yet to be purchased yet or developed yet. Then some patch cords, some various patch cords. I decided to put the wall switch in a little homemade cardboard box as well as the motion sensor uh, just for demonstration purposes. This all configures up together very, very simple. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, we're going to take a short break, do a little PowerPoint presentation, a little bit more in depth on PoE, and then we'll come back and show you how this all works. Thanks.